I think you should write the questions down. Okay, as soon as we see the divide or a time sign, we're looking for common factors. So if you haven't written this down. So first thing I notice is there's a divide. So I already know I'm going to have to replace that divide with a times, times and flip. Now as I'm doing that, I'm looking at the first fraction and I'm keeping the 7. There's nothing I can do. But what should I be talking about and asking myself with the denominator? Uh, can you make it into a can you factor it? Can I? Thank you so much. Say that into the... Can you factorise it? Correct. And what would my answer be? Can I? Yes. And the common factor in this case is 3. So we're going to pull out our common factor of 3. And by now, you know, we're pretty good. 3x take 2. Double check, 3x take 6, we're good. We replace the divide with the times, and then we are going to flip the fractions. Now, depending on your comfortability with this, you might just write this, you might write it just flipped, okay? You might go, yeah, 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 I'm okay with it. I can actually factorise it as I flip it. The two Fs, flip and factorise. Are we happy that I'm saying the common factor is X? What would go in the bracket? Right, because X times what gives me X squared? Well, it's X take 2. And then downstairs, can I do anything with that X plus 5? No. no, so it just stays. I look, I'm not overly surprised when I notice that there's some common factors. So what do we notice? How you can cancel the X negative 2. Right, I can go the X take 2 and the X take 2. Oh, thank you. So not an awful lot that I can do, so just times the topsies, 7x times the bottomsies, and I don't even have to expand, so I'd rather you not, so 3x plus 5, and we're done. Nice? Okay. All right, next one. So we had people at the swimming carnival and whatever the other day when we were looking at these. These are pleasant. Who can remind us about what we do when we're adding fractions? Carolyn, yeah. You ex absolutely. We want the same denominator. Excellent. And so we're just, you did. I'm going to ask him to say that again. I did this in primary school. All of you did this in primary school. All we're doing now is we're chucking in a few X's, right? to make it look like it's harder, but it is the same process. Another thing I just love about maths, it doesn't change, it's consistent. So to get the same denominator, you're going, what's the number two and five both go into? 10, and as Carolyn said, in this case, we just multiplied those together. So we went 10. Do we always just multiply the denominators together? No, can you give me an example of when we wouldn't? Six and three, right? If I had something over six and something over three, then my um, lowest common denominator would be six. What about, can you give me one with non-numbers? Well, now I'm going to put a number in there. But what if we had, um, let's go with 8x and 12x. Squared, what would be my lowest common denominator there? So it couldn't be x because x squared wouldn't go into x. So in this case, we need to have the highest one there, right? So both of them go into x squared, would you agree? And then what's the number that 8 and 12 both go into? 8 doesn't go into 4 and 12 doesn't go into 4. 24, and remember the tip? Take the biggest number possible and look at its factors and then see if the little one goes into that, okay? So I better, oops, pop that in. So that would have been 24. If you're in stuck, then see the video, but I'm rubbing that out. They are in your textbook. Okay, back to, what did I times 2 by to get to 10? So we have to do the same to the top. So we go 5 
x plus 5 and I know it's a bit of a pain to have that extra line with the brackets but <coughs> please do so. I shouldn't have had the chickpeas for lunch. Plus cross multiply again right so now 2 times that and you could do this with the eyes shut. Expand your brackets we have 5x plus 25 Looks like you're doing a heap of work, but it's not straining your brain, hopefully, at all. Question. I have a question for you. Can I cancel this 5 and the 10? Uh, yes. No. Very sadly, I heard someone say yes, but excellently, I heard someone very quickly go, no! Bit of, bit of force behind it, right? Why can't I just cancel the 5 and the 10? It's not a just because. Because you've got that plus there. There's no common factor of 5. So if I wanted to cancel 5, like go 5 goes into 5, 5 has to go into every single term, right? And it cannot go into 2 over here. So no, you cannot cancel with 5s. Don't do it. So gather your like terms. We get 7x. 25 plus 2 is 27. There is no common factor on the top line. There is no common factor on the bottom line, and so bang, that's it. We leave it. Nice? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Sorry, everybody, I made a whoopsie. There should be a two there. Oops. So we'll just fix that. There you go. <laughs> yeah, sorry. So if you've done it, you've got you can check. I'm sorry. That's because. Well, I'd say it's no, it's because people are talking, but no, I just made a mistake. Well done. Wish you had pointed that out earlier. Do you want me to put the correct answer there? Oh, okay. Okay. Last one before you attack with a vengeance these questions. Shh. We want the lowest common denominator that x take 1 and x plus 2 go into, right? So it's a bit like the 2 and the 5. We don't, you know, how do we get that lowest common denominator? Times them together. And... Let us do the least amount of work possible, please. We're going to have x take 1 times x plus 2. No need to expand. Don't do it. Don't do it. Keep it nice and factorised. And now, what did I times x take 1 by to get this denominator? Yes. So I times that by x plus 2. So what I do to the bottom, I'm going to do to the top so it's just 2 times x plus 2 put my minus there because we've got the minus and what did I times x plus 2 by to get to this denominator well x take 1 so what I do to the bottom I'm going to do to the top my advice to you is please don't skip and leave those brackets out because when we expand Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative times a negative is a positive. Is a positive. I'm still not expanding the denominator because, I, quite frankly, I just don't want to. Because you never know. Something might simplify on the top line, and if I get a common factor, I could cancel. Anyway, 2x take 3x is minus x. 4 plus 3 is 7. Well... No common factor to cancel with the denominator, and that's as low as we go. So it's that. Re rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Sorry, boys at the back, can I lift that for you? Is that better?